This is the last warning I'm going to issue to Ukrainians in respect to Sumy, uh, a region which He got a lot of uh, media cover, uh, cover recently. Yeah, okay, let's see how that looks like. For all the wrong reasons. Ukraine, Kursk, and you see this here. Uh, the same shit is that if you go to the YouTube, you're gonna see how it's a Kursk incursion uh ukraine forces continue to advance into kursk region and on the top of course they are demonstrating putin putin is insane that's what they claim putin let's go so it's uh actually i don't know that's a mainstream media I don't even have to go and put this to 24 last hours um, in Slovenian language you can see here with the middle finger here showing a map uh, Putin disgraced about the Kursk uh, how fast can he return with the military? Uh, how fast can he return Ukrainian military back to Ukraine? Uh, Putin is insane. Uh, Putin going insane. This is a big provocation. Ukrainian forces uh, broke through the Russian border to the Kursk, Putin, or Kyo provo provocation, provocatia, Kyo regime uh, made one more provocation, uh, Russia, de Russia declared federal emergency, uh, what you read here is a this is a schizophrenia. This is a schizophrenia, what you watch here. It's a lie. Putin is just doing fine. He's doing okay. And there will be another big piece of Ukraine that will be gone. Just as was the case with... This is for the last 24 hours. When do you know they lie? When they, whenever they open their filthy mouths, in this case, with a stroke of the pen, they're doing a resale of the Ukraine. Humiliating, yes, it's very, very humiliating. Uh, Russians have a quarter of Ukraine in their possession, entire coastal line. Donetsk, the most fertile Donetsk, and Crimea, and yeah, man, it's uh, it really is embarrassing for the Russians. Say, uh, and if you go and you you see what they report about uh, Kursk, you're gonna see for the last 24 hours that Russia's struggles to repair deep course incursion by Ukraine. Wow! Video shows bodies of burned out Russian trucks in Kursk region as Ukrainian. Ukraine ambushes a Russian convoy in Kursk. Uh, one thing I'm gonna tell you. Watch this video again. Take a, take a pen, take a notebook and write it down. First, what you see here, a video, this video here, there's a video about they posted the video I saw a little earlier. Um, before I go to that issue, it's a video with... Let me just see if I can get some something here. Uh, 
Ah, that's nothing really. Full of soldiers coming to help. And um, take a pen and start writing it down. And we're gonna, I'm going to give you a complete background about Kuleba and Zelensky. See this here? This? Hey, I'm gonna stop here. So the guy is driving like this. And there is trucks, there's all kinds of stuff along the road like this. Stop. A video is titled Russian Kamas Convoy full of soldiers coming to help in Kursk or Sambush, etc. Inside of this room here, this kitchen here, not where the chair is, like, just like, like this, somewhere between the stable here in between the right there where you take the water or whatever was Kuleba who stayed it the last thing we want to arrange he stated we want to make sure about that stuff we did not cover I don't want to be, I don't want to be, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to be there, I don't want to stuck there under, under any circumstances. That's what he stated. So, if Slovenia was a legitimate country, They discussed this issue right here at the table, at this table in the kitchen, it wasn't once, it was more than once. And this issue goes back to 2014, issue of, Kule of Kuleba, Dmit Dmitro Kuleba, I mentioned right now, meaning that Ruskis and Ukrainians had they were the main creators of this war the core of the problem of the war on Ukraine was Ukrainian and the Russian Ukrainian who worked for the Russian Then, 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 American side, European side, etc., etc., etc. You understand? Meaning that Ukrainian side pushed away NATO, meaning that Ukrainian side pushed away what otherwise would be most likely totally different approach they made it in inaccessible for the NATO, for the European side to assist Ukraine, Ukrainian side. And I'm talking about Vladimir Zelensky here. I am not the person who's going to wait. I am not the one who waits. I have seen enough of it. I have seen enough of it. I've seen in, I've seen Viktor Yanukovych, I've seen Petro Poroshenko, we'll never forget issues of the Petro Poroshenko involved in the closing 
of the war in 2014, which Viktor Yanukovych committed. Viktor Yanukovych, I hope you understand, this is the guy who sold Ukraine to Russia. A good part, Crimea and eastern part of Ukraine, he was the man, he lives in Russia, healthy, good, happy, billionaire, good life. And you have a Petro Poroshenko who came to replace him with even financing to Donetsk, uh, I don't know what was it, some kind of coal or some transaction they did, whatever they did. Um, the thing about this stuff is, is, is like this, it's, it's, it's incredible. It's like, really? Ukraine, let me ask you a question. Really? This is the way you do this in Ukraine? So you have a guy, you have a guy like this guy here, Viktor Yanukovych. Uh, Petro Poroshenko would not get away with it in another country. That I tell you right now, that he would not get away. If he was in another country with just mistakes that he had made, he would not get away with it. But, okay, let's say it was not Petro Poroshenko's fault. Whatever conclusion you have come up to, um, it's okay. I agree with it. Uh, Viktor Yanukovych, it seems like... It's just like this, it's just allowed to leave the country. And the same thing, like as if you Ukrainians did not learn anything, you did with the Viktor Medvedchuk. Really? Really, you, you are such a country, so powerful country that you can actually, you can afford this kind of stuff, really? I, I am asking this because uh, you know you you exchanging for the prisoners of war right in 2022 well the thing is that United States of America is a much stronger country than you and they would not allow something like this to happen it doesn't matter what Russia would offer wherever they would offer any country that would be sober would never ever allow somebody like this to go to Russia to escape. There is no number of prisoners that I would trade for this guy. So this is another treason, but that's what we are talking about. We're talking about treason on top of the treason. But when it comes to Kuleba, that's why I'm doing this video, because I don't want to see Kuleba, Dmitro Kuleba escaping Ukraine. And after Dmitro Kuleba, see Zelensky escaping Ukraine. This video to remind Dmitro Kuleba of this here. Dmitro Kuleba is from Sumi, you know. The guy who might have accused of being a treasoner, Ukrainian treasoner, uh, for visiting China and South Africa, which both supported Russia in a war against Ukraine. You see, he is born in 1981. He's 10 years younger than myself. And he serves as a Minister of Foreign Affairs, he was born in Sumy, Ukraine. Now, I also sincerely hope I will fuck Kuleba for this issue, that I will return him a favor for this, will remind Kuleba what he reminded me even inside of this house. And he reminded me inside of this house how I was against Ukrainian people in in Asumi that I refused to have anything with the Ukrainians. That's what he claimed when Kuleba ran with the Slovenian psychiatrist Peter Kapp, Slovenian police, when they run violence together with the Slovenian politicians, with the criminals from Putin, together through the Sumi Oblast. 
they enforced violence and that they would throw me from house to house to learn about the people who is on Russian, who is on Ukrainian side, creating a provocations and so on, creating a civil war within the Sumi Oblast in Ukraine. Now I will remind Kuleba who claimed that I was the one who turned all the Ukrainians against Ukraine and if it wasn't for him the Ukrainians of in Sumi Oblast would not even want to be inside of the Sumi. Uh, I hope man, I hope they're gonna fucking get you before you depart and I hope they're gonna <laughs> I hope they're gonna tear your balls apart. Ukrainians. I hope, man, you're going to rot in a jail and I hope you're never ever going to exit Ukraine. I hope they're going to use you contrary to Medvedchuk and that other traitor uh, to demonstrate the world that Ukraine, in fact, is a nation and for committing this kind of crime, you are under no circumstances, regardless of number of prisoners that you call them, whatever, uh, some of them even defected on a Russian side so they could be used as a prisoners, etc, etc. It was all kinds of stuff that went on. So that you can trade them for uh, somebody like this, so that you can you know, run the politic like this, you know? This, this kind of stuff, this is like... If you, if you start doing this kind of stuff, like Ukrainians started to do, then goodbye country, because Russia has chance to just offer somebody, you want to be a billionaire, all you have to do is betray Ukraine, and we're gonna, you know, we make a setting, we make a business, and... They're going to get you, whatever is going to happen, and we're going to offer. We have 1,000, 2,000, 10,000 prisoners, but we will get you to the Russia. We guarantee you're going to be a billionaire. You're going to be in a Russia, your mamushka, Russia. Uh, there is no country that can withstand this degree of treason. So in Ukraine, they do this differently, but in other countries... Uh, it will be a firing squad uh, and in my personal opinion it should be much much worse than firing squad because you know <laughs> uh, punishment of Rudolf Hess was very bad uh, but nowhere near is it what it should be with the people like this done so Dmitro Kuleba was the one who with whatever Ukrainian police officers in a Sumi Oblast enforced crime against me, genocide against me, based on a sleep deprivation, torture, trauma, stress, death threats, too many to count, uh, and was creating a perfect landscape for the Russian invasion. And he was doing this so thoroughly. That's what's interesting about the Kuleba. Uh, during his student years, this is not a recent stuff. This is what's interesting about the Kuleba. He could even go and dispute maybe what I'm saying by saying, when was this happen? Well, I'm going to tell you when the fuck this happened. This happened sometimes in 95. 95 and up. 95 until maybe 2005, man. So this is long time ago, and yes, for the last 20 years, none, nothing in Sumi happened like this. Here and there, maybe something, so that people could still see me after they already made their division within the society. Um, he was using a special police officers from the Sumi, literally, I think, committed to the Russia. So that's one thing. And so... Now, Kuleba appears decided that he will not be in Ukraine. And so, there you go, Putin, you know, Putin, Putin in panic, Putin, Putin call, uh, you know, la, 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 la. The, the rest is the mainstream media. <laughs> yeah. The mainstream media, you know, America can do nothing, European Union, NATO can do nothing. 
if you if you strike the deal with the Russia, they're not going to get into your business, my man. That's why I said, that's why I asked on the issue about Medvedchuk and all this stuff. You got to get smart real fast, boy. You guys in Ukraine, you guys have got to get smart real, real, real fast. Because there's another big piece of Ukraine, chunk, that is about to... Everybody throughout the African continent, every fucking politician knew the words that you hear from my mouth right now is going to happen. I had African politicians laughing in my face. And when I insisted there will be Ukrainian military that will head to the Kursk and they will fight to the end. I received the death threats from the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. He went ballistic, he went insane, and he started to rain down on me death threats, like, in a style, don't even think about think, you know what I mean? Do you know what kind of country Slovenia is? That's why I said earlier. This guy, too, is not even worth the bullet. This Medvedchuk, by the name Peter Kapsch, is in exactly the same rank as... Milan Kuchan, who is open supporter of the Russian invasion on Ukraine, uh, the guy who gave Ukraine up in 2014, etc., etc. You, do you understand at all what kind of people I was surrounded with? What the fuck went on? So, Putin was extremely pleased with this. It's going according to the plan. He made this session for which he promised he would make the session that he would call the uh, make the state of emergency, declares a state of emergency in Kursk, uh, that he would he would he would he would he would, he, would, uh, he create a meeting. Uh, state of emergency so all the issues they discussed during MK Ultra so that Mr. Kuleba Mr. Mr. Dmitri Dmitro Kuleba could get his avenge against me well it is true that Asumi is the area Sumi population Ruski where only 65% of the population speaks Ukrainian at home. So if it's a 65% of the population that means that speaks Ukrainian, there is a very, very strong, solid ground for the Russian invasion, which is coming next. Uh, it's what they call a repel. Ukrainian soldiers back to the Ukrainian side. Ah, uh, yeah, you can count on tremendous invasion on a Sumi. Uh, Sumi is the city which is located right next to Sumi. Sumi. Sumo. It's like a Sumi Sumo. Uh, right on the border with the uh, Russia, uh, this one truly is 20 kilometers from the border. So as much as Ukrainian uh, military did not make any kind of advances, absolutely any fucking where, they made advances to the fucking nowhere. It's called the Neverland. Uh, trust me, uh, Russians are going to take this Sumi here like a piece of the cake. So that uh, Dmitry Kuleba, just like uh, Volodymyr Zelensky stated to me, he said to me, no, 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 we don't do this, we don't do this, we don't do this. As I stated them, oh, we're going to come back and take it back. He said, hey, we don't do this, we don't do it like this in the Russia, in the Russia, we don't allow this like this. Huh? <laughs> So, you fasten your belt because you're about to get ass fucked by the Putin big time in a Sumi. Putin is coming to the Sumi. Sumi gone. Bye bye, Sumi.
so me mother mamushka rasia so me see this here I wonder what the name is going to be. It's still going to be a Sumi. It's going to be a Sumo. Bye bye, Sumi. As Dimitri Dimitro Kuleba stated, this is going to be for my. Uh, he claimed that I uh, betrayed him. Uh, oh. He claimed that I betrayed him. See this question here? Has Sumi been captured? No worries. Dmitra fix you. Very soon. So, um, they lie here, it's 30 kilometers, you lie, you lie. I was in Sumi with uh, more, with a psychiatrist, cops, with the Slovenian police, more times than what I can count. More times than what I can count, they made the deals. You know Ukrainians, <coughs> when you're gonna get serious, Maybe you want to summon these people here from Nova Mesto police station and this criminal here. Maybe to the hog and stuff like this when you're going to be serious. They fix you big time. They fix you good. Very, very good. To me, it's kind of uh, idiotic already to talk about this stuff because of the... feedback I got from Ukrainians in watching the picture to nowhere those planes um, let me see something else this here you know what they told me you know what they told me the only thing you're gonna see is something like this this here during MK Ultra they told me the only thing you're gonna see is something like this the police investigator who sits right here at the table said, yeah, yeah, just show him, show him, show him this, show him this, they guarantee me. It will be nothing. The only, the only thing you're going to see is something like this. And they, and they came back and they demonstrated some video, a random video about something that reminded of what you see right there from Africa or some other location. And yeah, I see it. I see it. The question is if the Ukrainians see it. Yeah. Kuleba. You're losing the fucking country, man. You're gonna you you're losing the country. Your country is going to fucking hell. As I speak, but I don't understand if you get it. And this shit has been going on for two years and a half. And you're watching and you're not fucking doing anything about it. 500 troops, how many they sent, really? On a mission like this, I would send no less than at least 300,000 men. At least 300,000 I would send on a mission if I was to capture, I don't know how many miles they captured, at least. Why would I do this? Because I know they would come back after me. I know I would have to deal with them I know there would be uh, enormous uh, blowback I would face uh, and I would want to be ready for it. I would want to make sure that uh, I inflict, that I go there, if I go there, that I go there for the hell, basically, to make the hell in there, wherever the fuck I go. Ukrainian side didn't do any of that stuff. They sent provocators provocateurs on the Russian side just like Zelensky stated they would because Zelensky already indoctrinated forward 
that they would do this stuff so the Russians would go after them and then what they would do is we would just use you know the air and all kinds of stuff to to get them really and lose another region entire fucking region let me ask you Zelensky since Bakhmut Zelensky since Bakhmut how many the so-called villages did you lost you answer me fucking question how many villages did you cause lost how many villages did Russians gain? You're giving some kind of numbers about 600,000 Russian soldiers killed, etc., etc. Numbers don't mean anything in Russia. Obviously, those villages they take away from you are more important to them. And they are getting ready to get more, to get bigger peace. Putin even started to talk about the Kiev. It's time for you to face some uh, real questions, tough boy Zelensky. That is if Ukrainians are even capable to confront you with the questions. That is if they're even... I think you are in a trance. I think that you are hypnotized uh, with what is laying down right in front of you. And frankly, I don't think you are even capable to face with reality, which is taking place before your eyes. Talking to Ukrainians. At least 300,000 at least 300,000 even if I would have to especially because if I would have to move back to Ukraine so that I would make sure they would not advance forward further into the country so you're gonna see what's gonna happen in the following days they were asking Putin where he's gonna get the troops from and it was contemplation is they totally totally coordinated absolutely everything from Kherson area, Donetsk area, etc., etc. But it was what Putin will get, really will come, the main blow will come straight from Russia. So it's going to be a fresh Russian troops, well armed. They're going to be heading uh, Kursk. Are you fucking kidding me? 20 kilometers into the Russian soil is still no less than 90 kilometers from Kursk 90 kilometers from Kursk you talk about the Kursk and you are 90 kilometers away from Kursk you barely made it 20 kilometers and you took a little area over there a few villages just enough to make the stunt to to lose the Sumi region basically you go fucking see it what's gonna happen next Uh, I feel um, about this report here, uh, I feel, I feel, I feel angry that I have to do this report. I feel angry that uh, you Ukrainians uh, you're not paying attention to to this kind of issues to to degree that you would uh, that you would make an order that you would clean up your radar you need to clean up the stuff like this because if you're not going to clean up you will continue to pile up yanukovych victor yanukovych they're going to multiply they're going to boy they're going to fucking multiply so fast that you're going to be so fucking homeless without a country that it's unbelievable this kind of stuff, this kind of stuff, where you say this kind of Viktor Yanukovych, this kind of stuff, this kind of stuff, this kind of stuff, let me tell you, eh? uh, if this would happen to the US or if this would happen to another country, what they would find out where Yanukovych is.
mm -hmm. and they would make sure that the portion of the city where he is at would not be on the map. I mean, you don't even understand what this guy did. Obviously, you, you don't comprehend the stuff that happened, which just happened to you. Uh, and you further go and you trade people such as Medvedchuk for prisoners. And I'm not saying that their lives are worthless, that they are not, that their, their lives are priceless. That's why I've stated the rule about no man left behind. It should never be any single man left behind. Like it happened not only in Mariupol, but it also happened in Bakhmut and in other locations. And that kind of stuff in the U.S. military or somewhere else just doesn't happen. And you say, but yeah, that's a U.S. military. Yeah, but U.S. military, it's a fucking mindset. Because when you say you're not going to leave the man behind, that means that you're going to have 5,000 soldiers surrounded completely with force of, I don't know, let's say half a million of enemy soldiers, whatever. And you're going to say, but we can't save them. If you go save them, we're going to lose maybe 100,000 people, something like that. Yes, but those 5,000 that actually worth it to lose 1 million you don't understand the concept. This is the fucking thing about you, Ukrainians. You don't understand the concept. This is how the country is. This is what the makes the country. This is what the country is built on. Not Zelensky. Well, this is good for me. It's not good for me. Uh, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. This, no, this is about the country. It's a different logic. This is about going on employment market and looking for the job and compare the benefits of one employer with the benefits from another employer. These are two different issues. Some stuff that is just about other issues than even the land. You understand? It's about other issues than land. If you pay attention to it, then you're going to see that but this is worthless to to compare, you know. Yes, there were soldiers throughout the history that went that had it to the suicide missions, uh, which Ukrainians, without a doubt, the best of Ukraine did. Literally, the missions that were assigned to such as Mariupol and Bakhmut and so on, those are suicidal missions they held on to. The thing is that uh, the people like this get, uh, you know, when it comes to defenders of the cities and stuff like this, this is, this is, it doesn't matter. What the fuck is to me a fucking country without the people, the best people? And what is the country without the best people? Well, it's an easy prey. Huh? And this is how the, the Ukraine is being, you know, sliced up. Because the main thing now is to destroy the most loyal to Ukraine. Once you destroy the most loyal to Ukraine, uh, it's, you know, the percentage of the people that approve uh, loss of Donetsk, loss of Crimea, it's going to increase, right? Because what the fuck are you doing with those people, if I can ask you? Why are you, why are you keeping those people safe? Why do you keep those people on dry? Oh, because you rely on good people, right? Because no, 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 no. Because you, you kill good people. Your preliminary goal right now is to kill good Ukrainians and to keep the shit on a safe, on a dry place. So they can finally, percentage-wise, agree to give Crimea, Donetsk and everything away. And so then the second, the third round can start. One started in 2014, another one 2022, and then we're going to have another one. And the question is, the Ukraine is going to even resist anymore. Yet this shit is happening. It's not if this stuff is happening or it's not happening and so on. Uh, Zelensky got for the closure, for the closing, really during MK Ultra also to portray himself how he get the plane and the way he talk it's like what else do they do you want they got this day 
They got this, they got that. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Zelensky talk about Ukrainians. They got this. What about you, man? Who the fuck are you? Oh, that goes back to that issue. Oh, no, no, no. No comeback. No comeback. We don't have more. Man, uh, if there is some kind of Ukrainian police, secret police, I hope they get you in their hands thoroughly. Inside of the basement, boy. And find out who the fuck you are. No comeback for you to Russia. And the same thing for Kuleba. I hope your intelligence wakes up on time and finds out here about what I had to say about this video. There is way to interrogate. There is a lie detector test. There is a stuff to do. There is a way to contact me. Contact them. Have them ask. Put them on a lie detector test and find out about these things. This is about your fucking country whether one is going to be tomorrow on the map or no longer will be in a map. According to the scenario that I explained to you. It's becoming very, very real. You give this, uh, this kind of news, this, this kind of stuff, this, here, this, here. I found this here. This here. Is it this one here? I'm going to see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the stuff that you actually guys put on a on a fucking internet. This here, this shit here, huh? This kind of stuff. Are you serious? This, this is your gain. This is your, this. Are, this is your land gain. This here. This. This is what you're proud of. And you put like this a red mark. Uh, that indicates that one day maybe you will get all the way to Kurchatov. Really? And Kurchatov is nothing really. This? This here? This is a land gain? Hmm. When I see this uh, so-called uh, Ukrainian reporters, when I see that stuff, uh, it makes me really angry. Look what look how much of the space they dedicated to this kind of stuff. Look what the fuck this is. Yes, I agree with the importance of spreading the conflict to the broader, to the larger area, etc. etc. But if you pay attention to what the fuck is going on. Uh, you're going to see that nothing really is going on, and nothing much but the loss is going on. And the Russians continue to gain village after village since the Bakhmut. It wasn't the Bakhmut only who had fallen. Just as Zelensky procrastinated, there will be a number of other villages, but that doesn't matter because this is how he kept me cool. He always asserted inside. But we will destroy this and we will this and we will la 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 la. Uh, 600,000 Russian troops is dead. But I did not count them. That's what uh, Putin stated. Uh, and even if there will be 600,000 dead, you know that a human being, a Russians in Russia, they're not worth anything to the Russia. Russia doesn't care about the people. People are just, the more dead, the less social security will be to, for the payout. The less retirements they will have to take care. Nobody likes to hand the benefits to people and so on. These people in Ukraine understand 35% that would be willing to give a Crimea an eastern part of Ukraine. For the sake of what they call peace, uh, that's what uh, Ukrainian media even dares to present as an issue to the world. Um, 
If I run the country, it wouldn't be like this because those 35% of Ukrainians, they will get machine guns training and they will report themselves to the front lines. And then it would be based on their results whether they're going to come back alive to Ukraine or not. Do you understand me what the fuck I stated? The people that are willing to go all the way for Ukraine are the people to keep. The people who have second thoughts are the people usually who are doing too well, too damn good. They're doing too damn good. It's too good. Life is too fucking good. And those are the kind of people that are ready and willing to give away anything. The people who lose will never give anything. Only people in comfort and only people willing to lose whatever is not theirs. The enemy, those are the people that will agree, that will concede to surrender. Those kind of people, I don't need no people like this in my country. You can call them a cannon footer. I don't give a three fuck, but people like this, I don't want them anywhere in my country. I don't want them to clean the streets. I don't want them to serve the drink in a bars or whatever. I don't want them anywhere. Every Ukrainian that is of incumbent age should prove his loyalty to Ukraine. There is no better time to prove loyalty to Ukraine than during the war to, on Ukraine. Right now is the time. You're going to say, but you're smart, easy for you to say. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The thing is, there is no other concept. You can call me smart, you can call me whatever the fuck you want to call me. Call me whatever you like. But this is the way it is. I came across the article. Is it this one here? I think it, it, I have it over there. Don't I have this? Yeah, it's here. There you go. I don't know. This here, magnified, is what this looks like. If you go on the map, um, you you are not going to see that uh, because it's 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 not even as big as the city is. This will be this corner here, if we zoom ourselves into it. This is what they uh, conquested. Okay, so this here. Uh, I am going to do it like this. They did not even made it to the Suja. Not even to the Suja they did not made it. Near Suja pose a little risk. They didn't made it anywhere. Reach outskirts of the Suja. <clears throat> Here is the reality check because they talk about the Kursk. Here is the reality check. Do you see do you see where the Suja is? This is a Suja. And you can see, I'm sure you can see where the Kursk is, right? You see the difference? Suja is about 10 kilometers from Ukrainian border. Kursk is about exactly 100 kilometers from the Suja. Look. Directions, Kursk. 
107 if you go walking I guess even 100 100 kilometer let me see with the car yeah 124 kilometers I guess walking is better so talking about the Kursk dreaming about I don't know what and bringing yourself literally a death on your doorsteps just as Vladimir Putin inquired together with Dmitry Kuleba so that's a Sumi for which Dmitry Kuleba was extremely extremely angry and already have decided to we'll go to the Russia long 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 time ago because it was my fault I did this and the Ukrainian people did not see themselves in the Ukraine anymore and so on so. he said the last thing if we can also do something about that because I don't want to be in that so he, he does not want to be in that that's a Ukraine he doesn't want to be in right Uh, you know who Dmitry Kuleba is. You already know who Dmitry Kuleba is. I don't have anything here to say. I hope they're going to get him. I hope you're going to get him. I hope you're going to... Uh, uh, you know, I don't know what your, um, what your goal is as a nation. What exactly do you plan on? What exactly... So, in either case, I wish you best of the luck. This is just my point of view. Maybe some foreign politicians and uh, majesties and so on, maybe they even disagree with me. Maybe this is not the way it is, but in my state of mind it is. In my state of mind, yes, no soldier is left behind. It doesn't matter. The reality, the fact of the matter is that... Uh, This war is totally unreal. This war is totally agreed. It's totally coordinated. It's a war with agreement ahead of war and as such uh, already with the outcome. Uh, the West is not going to go and protest against that stuff. They will continue to support. They will continue to work along. They will continue to do the stuff. Uh, they will continue to present uh, and supply with whatever was agreed upon uh, however uh, if you Ukrainians are gonna step up with it it will go to the hell no I don't I don't like I don't like I don't like Kuleba and I do not like Zelensky I don't like it I don't like it at all here's the date and time too many not mistakes mistakes in a sense of betrayal yes because it became evident to me that this is a betrayal this is an ongoing betrayal uh, they always found the way they always found hundred lies for every village for every city they lost to surround me with and rape me with to accept that there is something else behind the corner however they will benefit from etc etc uh, Ukraine is losing faster than what um, I'm gonna say something to Ukrainian uh, pilots and uh, do not waste your F-16 fighter jets just uh, stuff like that uh, I must tell you that uh, it was agreed between the Zelensky Kuleba uh, Ukrainian side uh, Rada in the Russian Duma, Putin, uh, Medvedev, Dmitry, Dmitro Medvedev, uh, Lavrov, uh, Sergei, it was uh, agreed prior to the war, throughout the entire war, that Ukraine will be doing a very, very spectacular. Very spectacular 
movie stuff, you know. But Russia will be the one gaining, winning, not winning, uh, whining, no, and gaining land. It was agreed upon. You can ask them. You cannot ask them. You know. You fucking get them in some basement, and you you ask them a question like intelligence does. You know. So that you get the answer from Zelensky and from Kuleba about what I stated in this video. You get the fucking answers from these people. They are selling Ukraine. They are, they are taking Ukraine down. I am not impressed with commando style issues that goes on. Because that's not what's going to save the country. What's going to save the country is well coordinated NATO response with a NATO response. On a level as it not as it deserves but you know as it's done basically this is not the way it is what what we see in Ukraine is taking place is good very good for the Hollywood for the movies but the reality doesn't work like this any other country would treat the war differently. They would not allow this kind of stuff. I was not impressed with Zelensky when he claimed that he would not nuke Russia. That was already clear response to me that something is not okay with this guy, but okay. He had other plans behind that stuff and that's something not only I cannot prove that something is wrong with him initially when, when the war started and so on, but how the hell are you going to prove anything when you don't see anything? However, now it's already more than two years and a half into the war. And it sucks. It sucks. This is not the way it's done. This is not the way it's done. The incursions, the, the stuff, trading of blows, the ships with land just so you have something to write about this is not for me this is not the way it works this is uh, not uh, constant uh, you know stuff you know ukraine needs air force superiority in its troops to be well armed and it needs to engage in a superior numbers to have the land liberated. That means it needs to be on a target, on a business. And if it's necessary to respond to the Russia, yes, when it comes to the nuclear arsenal, I don't understand why anybody would back down from it. Why would you sustain yourself from this type of threats when they're taking your country down? You just gave a beautiful reason to Vladimir Putin to actually even look like a fucking hero when he's going to come for the Sumi. Squeeze them in a fucking basement. Get the answers from them.